2018 when I visited St. Peter's Basilica and I was shocked to see that there was an actual huge wood model of St. Peter's Basilica before it was made. The model was made between year 1539 and 1546. This beautiful wood model of the Basilica is now located in Museo Petriano, Vatican, Rome. This model shows Antonio de Sangallo's plan for St. Peter's. He continued the construction of Bramantes whose piers and arches to uphold the dome could not be changed in any essential respect. The model was then presented to the Pope, shows the huge ambulatory, added by Antonio, a feature Michelangelo particularly disliked. This system of galleries and loggi would have inflated the church to almost double its already gigantic size, the ambulatory would have supported a mezzanine and ionic second story whose largely open arches had no obvious purpose. Michelangelo wrote a devastating letter criticizing the design as Germanic, then accepted the commission to complete St. Peter's without pay, and developed a new, unified plan. Admired for its Renaissance sculpture as well as its fusion of Renaissance and Baroque architecture, the design, construction, and decoration of St. Peter's involved the greatest old masters of the day including Alberti, Raphael, Bramante, Michelangelo, and Bernini. A little history of the present Basilica of St. Peter in Vatican City, an enclave in Rome, begun by Pope Julius II in 1506 and completed in 1615 under Paul V. It is designed as a three-aisled Latin cross with a dome at the crossing, directly above the high altar, which covers the shrine of St. Peter the Apostle. St. Peter's Basilica was the 4th century church begun by the Emperor Constantine the Great between 319 and 333 AD. It was of typical basilical form, a wide nave and two aisles on each side and an apsidal end, with the addition of a transept or bima, giving the building the shape of a tau cross. It was Gian Lorenzo Bernini who designed the Piazza of St. Peter's Basilica. The aspirations of patron Pope Alexander VII, 1599-1667, and his favorite architect Gian Lorenzo Bernini, 1598-1680, led to the extraordinarily magical construction of St. Peter's Piazza also known as Piazza San Pietro. How many altars are in St. Peter's Basilica? Until that month, it had long been a custom in the church that any priest visiting St. Peter's Basilica could go to the sacristy during morning hours, ask for an altar, and offer mass at one of the 45 side altars, or nine side chapels, lining the massive basilica right at the church in the center of the church. Signed by Benito Mussolini on behalf of King Victor Emmanuel III, the Pax established Vatican City as a sovereign entity distinct from the Holy See, and granted the church $92 million as compensation for the loss of the Papal States. The History of the St. Peter's Basilica begins in the 4th century when the Emperor Constantine decides to build a basilica where the Apostle had been buried. In 329 the construction of the basilica was completed. The church was used for the celebration of the cult, as a covered cemetery and as a funeral banquet room. The desire for a large dome could draw inspiration from both ancient Rome and Renaissance Italy. Far more recent than the Pantheon of Antiquity, in 1436 Filippo Brunelleschi had built the powerful dome of Florence Cathedral. Brunelleschi was one of the founders of the Renaissance. What is inside St. Peter's Basilica Dome? The interior of St. Peter's is filled with many masterpieces of Renaissance and Baroque art, among the most famous of which are Michelangelo's Pieta, 
the bald Achen by Bernini over the main altar, the statue of Saint Longinus in the crossing, the tomb of Urban VIII, and the bronze cathedra of Saint Peter in the apse. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Father Arbil's YouTube channel. Thank you.